uh, we we are continuing with our three dimensional geometry and it, our, our focus today uh, is on the angle between uh, two planes so today we are going to major focus on the angle uh, between two planes uh, so in our first example uh, we are given that the figure below shows the tuboid uh, a b c d e f g h in which b c i think that should be a b uh, a b just correct it here in which a b is eight centimeters uh, b c is six centimeters and c g is five centimeters. So we are requested to find the angle between uh, the plane BCF and the plane ABCD. So can can you uh, locate for me the angle the the plane BCFE? Can, can we do that? The angle ABC, uh, the, the plane BCFE. Are you able to do that or not? Okay, so let us. So we shall have from E up to B. Then we can have from B up to C. And then from there up to F. Then from F up to this. So that would be our plane uh, B, C, F, E. Now, after doing that, uh, so we now need to find the angle between that plane, uh, BCFE, and then the base. So for the base, uh, is we can as well draw that. So it starts from A, so A up to B, then up to that. C up to D, then from D to A. So that would make our, our two planes complete. So we need to find the angle between the two planes. Uh, so where will that angle be located? Where will the angle be located? Yes, please, you can type in the chat. Is it at B, is it at C, is it at... So where, where could it be? Oh, unfortunately, I have gone off. Okay, we can wait for a minute. Uh, from there, we can now uh, tell. So where we need to to tell where the angle would be, the angle between uh, BC, FE, 
and A, B, C, D. So where will that angle be? Where will the angle be? Kristen, where could that angle likely be? Yes, please, you can. Okay, so uh, one of the ways uh, the angle between the two planes will be here at B. Uh, so one would pick a triangle uh, A, B, and E, and then uh, find the, the angle. So let me draw that triangle. Yes, yes, it is. It is a right angled triangle uh, because this this one, this line, a, a emits the base at ninety degrees. So it is a right angled triangle. So here is is our right angle. So this is a, this is b, this is c, and then at b is where we have the angle. So now. Uh, Okay, let me check. Okay, okay, this upper one here is E. Thank you. So here we have eight centimeters, and then the, the height is six centimeters. So what which ratio do we use to find the angle? When we have opposite and adjacent. You can type in the chat. So here we shall briefly say No, we, we don't need to, to use Pythagoras theorem because uh, for the angle, once we have any two sides, uh, we, we can get the angle. Once we have any two sides, it is possible to get the what? The angle. So here we are going to use tan theta because tan theta is opposite divided by adjacent. So we shall have tan theta to equal to our uh, opposite is six. So six divided by by eight. What is six divided by eight? Six divided by eight. Uh, 
okay, 0 0.75. So when we get here, uh, we are going to take the tan inverse both sides. So theta is going to be equal to tan inverse 0 0.75. So we can still go to our calculators and place tan inverse of 0 0.75. An inverse of 0 0.75. So I'm waiting for the answer. Are you sure it is 1.33? No, you put, uh, you first place the shift, place shift and then uh, the button of turn. So that would be able to display turn inverse on the calculator. And then it will be able to give you the answer. Okay, that is it. So our answer is 36.87 degrees. So that could be one of the ways. So another way could be Another way could be uh, we, we get to these angles and divide them by the planes and then divide them into two equal parts. So still uh, with that, we'll be able to to come up with still the same thing. So we divide this plane into two equal parts. If we come and meet that at that point, uh, then uh, this one as well is divided into two, the second part uh, to bring us there. And then we complete the triangle by drawing another one from up, another line to complete the triangle. So likewise, when we pick this, uh, when we pick that, it will be in position two give us the same answer. So now the angle will lie here. So that will be the angle. Uh, then still this length here would be equal to six centimeters. And this one will be six centimeters. So uh, still the same procedure here gives you the same what? The same answer. So on extracting, you extract this triangle that you have created inside. So still that gives you the same what? The same answer. So any questions before I proceed? Okay.
So we can go to our second example. The saying the diagram above uh, shows a cuboid with dimensions a, uh, eight centimeters by six by four. So find the angle between PU, WL, and PU, ST. So we are going to begin by identifying our, our, our planes. So we are going to begin we are from P, we go to U. So from P, we are going to U. So P is here. So we go to U, then to W, uh, then R. And then to make it complete, we'll go back to to that. So that is PW, uh, PUWR. Then our second is PUST. So we have PUST. So P is here, S, then to T, then from there to. and then we still get back to make it complete. So what we can do here, uh, one of them is that we could pick uh, this at, at P such that we consider, we consider triangle P, S and R, and then the angle will be this angle below that, that horizontal line or we can still draw, uh, we can still divide our, our planes into two equal parts, and then we create a triangle. And then we can as well extract that triangle. To, to find the angle. So uh, where these two meet, that is where we shall have the what? The angle. So if we pick to that triangle, the second one, Here we, we will have the 90 degrees. Uh, this would be the angle. So if we let that be theta. Okay, I've seen tan inverse of 0 0.4. Uh, so this one here, the length is eight, eight centimeters. Then the height is four centimeters. So we are going to use still tan inf tan theta, giving us four because four is the opposite. Then we divide it by by eight. So tan of theta is going to be uh, zero point five. So zero point five, as put in the chat by by Christine. Uh, so uh, when we get here, we're going to take the tan inverse. So our theta is going to be equal to tan inverse of 0 0.5. And we can get that from a calculator. So from the calculator, what is the tan inverse of 0 0.5? An inverse of 0 0.5. Yes, Christine, an inverse of 0 0.5.
So on, on our next number, uh, we have a pyramid uh, whose base is rectangular and the rectangular base has dimensions of eight by six, as we can see here. So eight centimeters, six centimeters. Then it has slanting heights, which are seven centimeters each. So each of these slanting uh, sides from V to, to the base are each of seven. So we are finding the angle between the planes uh, Q, R, V, and P, Q, R, S. So if we can begin by identifying the, the planes, So we have Q is here to R, then to V, then from V back to, so that would be one of them. And then PQ, uh, RS is the base. So PQ, then R to S, then we complete. So those are the two planes we are interested in and we want to find the angle between those two planes. So what we need to do first is to, to divide them into two parts. Uh, so we are going to have each plane divided into two equal but so we can begin with the QR V. So we divide it into two. Okay, suppose it's there. Then also divide this other one into two. So are we able to see that? And then now the angle between them would be the angle at here where the, the, the af, where after bisecting them, after dividing the, them into two equal parts where they meet, that is where we shall have the what? The angle. So, but uh, then uh, after drawing that, how shall we get our complete right angled triangle? which one will be the right angled triangle that we shall use. You can type that in the chat. Okay, suppose let me rename something there. V, D, V, D, R, okay. Uh, go too much as we have not labeled here, but we can do that and label there. Uh, suppose this is a W. So we are going to be able to extract triangle P, V, D, and W. Okay. So we need to, of course, this is divided into two, into two parts. So here we shall have four centimeters and then here four centimeters as well. But we need to, to first find the height. We need to first find the height by using either P, PR, okay? Uh, so we are going to first find PR. So we are going to extract a triangle. Uh, we are going to extract this triangle here. So here we have eight, this is 90 degrees and we have six. And I think there we are going to apply by theorem. So this is eight centimeters, this is six centimeters, and then this is P, this is Q, this is R. So we need to find PR. 
So we're going to say PR squared is equal to six squared plus eight squared. Then this is equal to 36 plus 64. And that gives us 100, then we take square root both sides. So PR is going to give us a what? A 10 centimeters. So after getting the 10 centimeters, Okay, as as you have put in the chart, it is also 10. So uh, it is going to be divided into two. So this would be five centimeters. This one will also be five what? Centimeters. Then we can now extract triangle to, to enable us find the height. So we can extract triangle. Uh, a VDR. So it is at 90 degrees here. So VDR. So this is a 90, this is a D, this is R, and this is V. So we are finding this. So the longest side will be V. VR, which is seven, then we're finding the height, and this is five centimeters. So we're going to say VR squared is the same as VD squared uh, plus DR squared. So this would be seven squared, giving us VD squared. Uh, plus five squared. So seven squared is 49, and this is equal to VD squared plus 25. So uh, VD squared is going to be 49 minus 25. What is 49 minus 25? Forty-nine minus So it is 24. So we find the root of both sides. So square root of 24. Square root of Four point eight, so we can have it as four point eight, maybe nine eight, which we can round off to four point what point nine if we want it to two decimal places. So now uh, we have our height, which is 4.9 uh, centimeters. And now that means we are going to extract uh, our triangle. So let me uh, remove this.
So this is 4.9. Then here we have the four. So we are going to extract it, that triangle. And then it enables us to find the angle. So this is 90, this is 4.9, this is four, and then this is the angle that we need. So we are going to, to set an theta, since we have opposite and adjacent is equal to an uh, opposite, which is 4.9 divided by, four then turn of theta what is 4.9 divided by 4 4.9 divided by 4 okay that is 1.2225 so when we get here we are going to take the turn inverse so our theta is going to be turn inverse of 1.225. So theta is equal to, so what is the turn inverse of 1.225? Turn uh, inverse, turn inverse. Do it again, that seems not to be the right answer. Place shift and then the turn button. I'm sure it will display the, the turn inverse on the calculator and then you type 1.255. Okay, 50.77 which we can say is 50.8 degrees. Uh, then we can now go to our second example. So which requires us to find uh, to find the angle between Q, R of V and P, S, V. Q, R of V. So I've not rubbed the one of Q, R of V because it's the same plane. So I'm going to just add the second plane, uh, which is P, S, so PS, then to V, then back to, to S. So that would be the word. That would be our, our plane. So likewise, we are going to bisect our planes into two equal parts. Uh, so we shall get this one from here and we get a different ink. So from V, we divide this. Then also divide this. And then connect the two. I think somewhere there is an error. This one is supposed to go through. Yes. 
So that is how uh, our triangle should look like. Uh, but what we need is is just, is an angle. Uh, is is a right angled triangle that we are going to use to get the what? The the angle. So since we we are okay. Let me first V B W. Okay, so we had our W somewhere here. Okay, that is the one we are going to use. So that is going to give us an angle here. But that angle will also be the same as the angle there. So after getting the angle, we, we shall multiply it by two. So let us uh, extract our triangle V to W to D. So that is going to be our, our extracted triangle. So this is at 90, this is D, this is W, this is V, this is 4.9, and the angle we need is here which we shall later multiply by two, and this is four. So here we have opposite, opposite and adjacent. So still we are going to use a tan. So tan of theta is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent. So we shall have our tan theta being equal to no uh v v w <clears throat> um uh, we can't be sure that it is seven since it is also a slanting height so we we need to to use the ones that we are sure of okay because this one comes in the middle so we yes it is also slanting but for us to be uh, sure, but we can prove it at the end, whether they'll give us the same answer, whether we use the seven. So let us first do this. So opposite is four, uh, divide that by 4.9. So tan of theta, what is four divided by 4.9? <coughs> Sure, is it still 1.22? It can't be one point. The other time it was 4.9 divided by, so this time it is four. So four divided by Zero point eight one. Uh, then we take the tan inverse. So theta is going to be equal to tan inverse of zero point eight one. Tan inverse of zero point eight one. Thirty-nine point zero one. Okay. Let us try using the seven which you were suggesting. So you can use the seven and you see cos is adjacent. So if we use cos theta.
Okay, I, I, uh, sorry about that. Hey, my triangles have disappeared. Okay, let me first draw this triangle again, and then we... So if, if we are not getting the same answer, then it seems uh, when we use the seven, we get a wrong answer. So that is why I had insisted on not using that side. So for course, let me see. So that is why basically we didn't use the what? Uh, that side. So we use these ones that we have created that we are sure of. Okay, uh, I think our time is up. In case of any questions, feel free to send them to the group or to me, or you can request for us to, to meet. So otherwise, uh, our lesson has ended.